Hi, readers. We are working in our Floppy Your Turn book. Floppy Your Turn book. Um, the thing I like about this Floppy Your Turn book is that you get to go through and underline and make notes um, right on the text, which is pretty cool. So we're working on pages 223 to 225. And we are supposed to read the text on pages 223 and 224. We're reading the text, reading the passage. And then it says reread the passage. So there's that prefix re in front of the root word read, which means do it again, right? Read again. So reread the passage and answer the questions. And here are the questions that we're supposed to be looking for. Um, what happened first in Elizabeth Blackwell's life? What happened next and what happened last? So we're sequencing. Sequence is an order of something. And we're supposed to be looking at what happened first, next, last, all right? And we're looking for text evidence. So the first time we read this through, we can be thinking about that in our mind, all right? Um, if you can read this fine on your own and you feel confident that you could find the text evidence, underline it and put a little number one next to it if it happened first, a number two next to the underlining if it happened next, and a number three if it happened last. If you do that and you are confident in doing that, then you can go stop the video and get to work, okay? And if you would like help with the reading, um, I am going to read it to you now, all right? So we're gonna read it through twice. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, this is a, uh, this is a shortened, um, a way of shortening the word doctor, right? So Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell. Today, many women are doctors, but that was not always true. Many years ago, only men could be doctors. Elizabeth Blackwell changed that, early life. Now that heading is a clue to us that this is nonfiction, right? And then it's also a clue to us that this is going to talk about her early life. Elizabeth Blackwell was born in England in 1821. Her family moved to America when Elizabeth was 11. When she got older, she became a teacher. In that time, teaching was a common occupation or job for women. So we know this is a synonym, right? A, when it says a common occupation or job for women, that means job is the same, means the same thing as occupation. So that's a synonym. Um, in that time, teaching was a common occupation or job for women. Becoming a doctor, new heading. Then one of Elizabeth's friends got very ill. She wanted sick people to have less pain and discomfort. Elizabeth started thinking about ways to help people like her friend. She wanted to become a doctor. Are you thinking about what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last? Elizabeth talked to men doctors who told her that women could not go to medical school. Elizabeth did not agree or accept that. Okay, those almost synonyms there too. She tried to get into a number of medical schools. She did not give up. At last, she was allowed to study at a school in New York. Elizabeth studied and learned medicine for two years. In 1849, she became the first woman doctor in America. A few years later, Elizabeth opened her own medical office in New York City. She asked two other women doctors to join her practice. One of these doctors was her sister, Emily. The doctors took care of sick women and children. They also ran a school or train or T. Oh, uh, <laughs> see that I did what good readers do. I read something that didn't make sense uh, to a, a school or train. I was like, well, those aren't synonyms. And so I went back to reread. They also ran a school to train or teach other women as doctors. So to train or to teach, those are synonyms. Those are two words that are very similar to each other and mean the same thing. Elizabeth Blackwell helped people her whole life. She opened the door for women doctors. 
Okay, so now we're going to read it through again. We're going to look for what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last in her life. And maybe by me reading it out loud first, you could reread on your own the second time. But if you'd still like help, I am here to help. And we're going to look for text evidence. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell. Today, many women are doctors, but that was not always true. Many years ago, only men could be doctors. Elizabeth Blackwell changed that. Early life. Elizabeth Blackwell was born in England in 1821. Her family moved to America when Elizabeth was 11. When she got older, she became a teacher. In that time, teaching was a common occupation or job for women. Becoming a doctor. Then one of Elizabeth's friends got very ill. She wanted sick people to have less pain and discomfort. Elizabeth started thinking about ways to help people like her friend. She wanted to become a doctor. I think, bing, 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 that one of Elizabeth's friends getting ill and wanting sick people to have less pain and discomfort, I think that's text evidence for, for one of the first things that helped her to want to become a doctor. I would put that as text evidence for number one. All right, Elizabeth talked to men doctors who told her that women could not go to medical school. Harumph is what I say about that. Hmm. Elizabeth did not agree or accept that. She tried to get into a number of medical schools. She did not give up. At last, she would, uh, was allowed to study at a school in New York. So I think she tried to get into a number of medical schools and she studied at a school in New York. I think those are text evidence things that we can underline for what happened next. She first, she had the desire to become a doctor. Then she tried to get into medical school and got into medical school. Now we have to see what happened last. Um, in 1849, she became the first woman doctor in America. A few years later, Elizabeth opened her own medical office in New York City. So I think becoming the first medical or the first woman doctor in America and opening up her own medical office, those things are pretty important. Those stand out to me. Um, a few years later, Elizabeth opened her own medical office in New York City. She asked two other women doctors to join her practice. You're a practice, a medical practice is a group of doctors working together or um, a group of veterinarians or a group of lawyers. When they are working together, it's called a practice. One of these doctors was her sister, Emily. The doctors took care of sick women and children. They also ran a school to train or teach other women as doctors. So maybe that part is also text evidence for number three, that they ran a school also to train or teach other women as doctors. Elizabeth Blackwell helped people her whole life. She opened the door for women doctors. Okay, so now we have lots of text evidence for how to answer these questions. What happened first in Elizabeth Blackwell's life? What happened next? What happened last? If you would like to do this, part B, you can, but I don't need you to. So if you would like to, you can also, you can cross it out. Okay, it's, it's your choice. You can read the directions and do this if you'd like, or you can cross it out. But I do want you to answer one, two, and three using text evidence with full sentences, capitals, periods. I don't just want a couple of words. I want you to tell me using text evidence, what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last, because we're sequencing. We're thinking about the order that the events happened. You can think of the sequence of your own life. Maybe first you were born, and maybe at some point you moved, maybe at some point you're, um, you had a sibling who was born or a cousin who was born. You started school. You can think about what happened first, what happened next, what happened after that. We all have a sequence in our life, right? And stories have a sequence as well. Okay, good job readers.